What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC build. This time we are going to take a look at the Spear of the Impaler. This is actually an amazing weapon that scales with both dexterity and faith and even though the scaling is higher with dexterity, you're going to get more damage from the Ash of War with having higher faith. So this is like one of those interesting weapons where you really have to decide if you want higher dexterity or higher faith and in my case I went for more faith because this thing is just an Ash of War machine. That's mainly the reason you're going to want to use this weapon is just to use that Ash of War as it has three different parts to it and all three have their purposes. Now you also have a pretty nice charge R2 with this thing which you can throw the spear However, that's more suited for PvE as you're not really going to ever hit that in PvP. Uh, but yeah, this is a very fun weapon. A lot of the Ash of War enjoyers are going to enjoy this one. So let's take a look at the build. So looking at my stats over on the right, we are level 150 with this build, and the idea behind what kind of stats work best with this weapon is pretty simple. If you want to get more out of the Ash of War, then go with higher faith than dexterity, so that's what I did here. 57 faith, 40 dexterity, which 5 of that is coming from the talisman, 33 endurance in order to use this pretty heavy fashion set, as well as being able to use the Ash of War effectively, as the Ash of War does drain your stamina a bunch. Then we also got 14 Mind. This is mainly just to use the Ash of War a little bit more. I don't really do any kind of casting with this build. I only use incantations for buffs. If you want to be more of a caster, you would have to lower your Endurance and Dexterity and put those points into Mind. And then finally, I just have 60 Vigor. So uh, these are the other weapons that I use with the Spear of the Impaler. This is the fashion set that I use. However, you do want to use Winged Serpent Helm. This will actually give you a 10% boost on the Ash of War. So it's a pretty nice helmet to have on. And then these are the talismans that I use in PvP. Now you definitely want to have Millicent's Prosthesis because what this will do is when you use the Ash of War on the second part of the Ash of War, it makes it to where you can easily trigger the attack power boost from the successive attacks. So it's a nice little talisman to have and it also boosts up your dexterity in order to get you up to 35 or 40 dexterity using this weapon. For PvE, you could also go with the Axe Talisman as what this will do is this will increase your damage on the charged R2. Again, that's only a PvE thing though. Um, you can't really use that in PvP because you're never going to hit anyone unless they're just standing still or they just don't know that you're there. And yeah, as far as what types of combos I like to use with this, um, it's really just an Ash of War spammer. So I like to use the first two parts of the Ash of War in order to get the effect from the Talisman. Um, that way I got the attack power boost. I really don't use the last part of the Ash of War unless I know for a fact I'm definitely going to hit my enemy. Because if you miss with that, it leaves you so vulnerable that you're going to get backstabbed or blendered or punished. Um, they can easily just punish you right out of that Ash of War because it has a very slow recovery time. So you got to be very careful when you use that last part. But that is really all there is to say about this weapon. It is very fun to use. So let's do some invasions. Gravesite Plane with Elaine and Nichols. Let's go ahead and buff up here. Uh, I do not like that bonk hammer. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I think this guy might be dead if I manage to hit that. Oh, I think he just staggered me. Oh, caught him anyway. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get the free flask. Uh, this guy is just going to R1 spam, I feel like. Ouch. Ate my input, actually. Let's do this. I'm going for it. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I kind of figured he would, like, stay close to me. where I could probably get that last part of the Ash of War. And it worked out. So as of now, I would say that Shadowkeep is probably my favorite place to invade. Uh, these guys are over there. Uh, I guess I could go down, right? I guess we'll meet them down here. At least I think you could go down. Maybe not. Might have to warp. 
Let's go ahead and warp. Alright, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I like how he's trying to be sneaky when he's not. Huh. Totally whiffed. I was trying to go for the phantom. Oh, he's trying to parry me. Uh, I wonder if he could parry that, actually. I'm not sure if you could parry the Ash of War. Ouch. That has a lot of range. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, maybe I could catch one of these guys. I'm going for it. Ash of War. Nice. Yeah, sometimes you just get lucky with that. Like, if the team is super aggressive, they're going to just keep attacking you. And they're going to get hit by that third part. Huh. Almost paid the price there. <laughs> oh, that axe does a lot of damage. I don't know how I missed. Okay, I'm out of stamina, so I won't be able to follow up. Alright, he's on the ropes. Bad time to heal, sir. I'm out of stamina again. Can't punish him as much. I need some more some more stam. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I need some mana. Uh, bad trade for me. I think I lost that trade. Alright, let's heal up. Let's go into that. <laughs> into that. Alright, Ash of War. R1. Nice. Not bad. Uh, that was a good fight, though. Uh, <laughs> those guys were definitely uh, too aggressive, I feel like. And that's why they paid the price. Uh, what's going on, guys? Yes, run in on this, please. It's a total fail. <laughs> okay, let's do that. I'm going to try to throw this at you. Nice. The only time you'll ever hit that. Okay, I do not want to get in between both of these guys, though. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's heal up. Let's do this. Into this. Oh, I think Hosty just saved him big time. All right, Hosty's really aggressive, so I could probably kill Hosty pretty easily here. All right, let's run away. Let's give him a quick little poke. Let's run away again. Into this. All right, I need some mana. That'd be so cool if you could actually hit that in PvP, like, consistently. Alright, I'm going for it. Nice. Yeah, I kind of thought he was going to be aggressive there, so... You really just have to time that. Like, sometimes it's just perfect to use that move, and then other times... <laughs> you're going to get punished hard. I think he's a little scared now. Catch flame. Let's do that. So that's. I mean, if you still want to trade, Pompous, we could keep doing this all day. <laughs> uh, good fight, guys. Good fight. P Barney's Bussy. <laughs> what a name. Uh, how about I just uh, go into some of this? All right, let's go ahead and buff up here. Oh wow, that still hit him. That is crazy. No lightning spears, please. I like how that still chipped me. <laughs> but for some reason, I am just getting like the luckiest long range attacks on this. I have no idea where the host is either. I have no idea how that guy did not die there as well. All 
I guess host was being fair. Pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's do it. Hey, I'm just going to run away from that. <laughs> no need to be in there. Oh, he's using the torch. Nice. You were a little bit too late on that, though. Go ahead and just roll through that. Nice. Interesting build. Like, I think out of all of the builds in this game, I think Madness is the one that I've tried the least. Like, I, I know I only did it, like, at the very beginning of this game, like, back in 2022. And, yeah, I feel like I need to, like, do more Madness builds. Gaz, and I think they are at the Morth Ruins. I feel like I get a lot of invasions here. I don't know if this is, like, a PvP hotspot or... Or what? Ouch. What is this guy doing? <laughs> wow, okay. So, we have a... Machine gun archer over here. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised I didn't hit him. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, hide behind this fence. Try to lure them in. Here we go. Oh, that was bad news for you. Oh, and he's still being aggressive. Nice. I thought that would kill him, though. Oh, he's dead. Yep. <laughs> Great teamwork. Wow, this guy was, like, meme central over here. Sleep bolts, too? Jeez. So what are your favorite invasion places in the DLC? I would say that mine are Shadow Keep and probably the ruins, uh, the jungle ruins place. The only problem with that place is um, there's just so many layers, like so many levels of uh, stories that uh, it's kind of hard to really invade there. Uh, are you going to attack me? <laughs> I know the jumping attack is coming. I know it's coming. All right, well, I guess I'll go first then. Well, <laughs> hey, I really wanted him to attack, but I guess uh, he was waiting on me. So we're back in Shadow Keep with the annoying rat. Oh, uh, where's he at? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that's where he's at. That was weird. How do you fall here? Oh, yeah, that's right. The uh, the spell's over here, right? So we've invaded Dumbo. Blasphemous Blade Enjoyer. Uh, where are you going? I wonder if that'll hit me. Oh, he's using that one. I thought he was using the snipe. How many times is this guy going to use that? Alright, here we go. Let's trade. Let's see who wins this trade. Ah, oh, there we go. I like how the only time where the snipe was the wrong move was the time that he used it. Alright. Nice snipe, bro. <laughs> nice snipe. All right, it's time to end this. Oh, that would have been like an amazing combo, but he's dead anyway. Poor Dumbo. <laughs> he was a madness enjoyer, wasn't he? So we've invaded the annoying rat again, and he died again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this guy doing? I'm lost. Oh, sweet. They're fighting the dragon. This should be interesting, to say the least. 
Giga Chad just died, and I just took a lot of damage from that dragon. Where might the host be? Okay, host looks like he's running away. Smart, smart. Okay, let's go over here so we could have our 1v1 now. Unless the hunter comes in. Great spear against great spear. I like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think the host just kind of gave up there near the end. Uh, that was weird. That was just like a crazy stun lock. So I appreciate you guys watching until the end, and I hope you enjoyed this Dexterity Faith build centered around using the Spear of the Impaler. Once again, those are my stats on the right. These are the weapons. This is the fashion. And these are the talismans that I use in PvP. So recommend me some other different types of weapons or spells, uh, sorceries, incantations, anything you want to see that is related to the DLC. I know you guys want to see me use the Great Hammers. I tried the Black Knights one, and that one's really only good in PvE because of the guard counters. Uh, I haven't tried the other one, the Smith Script one that you can throw, so I might get around towards testing that one. Uh, but recommend me other different types of weapons. Right now I'm kind of just sticking to the somber ones. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.